Hello everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing one of my newest bags, the Coach Cash and Carry 32. Interested to see what I think about it? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here there's gonna be a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So if those are things that you're into, before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and say hi to me down in the comments. I love interacting with all of you and having dialogue. It's just a fun and safe space down in the comments. So anyway, so today we're going to be reviewing <sighs> The Eagle NYC Tote from the newest Coach Runway collection for spring 2022. If you guys didn't already watch my unboxing video, do yourself a favor, hit pause on this video and then go check that one out first and then come back to this one because it's quite a, a roller coaster of ups and downs with that unboxing. But I am so happy I have this bag. I've carried it all week this week just to kind of figure out what it's like, what it's all about. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. I'm gonna be honest about it. But before we dive in, let's look at what some of the other Coach Cash and Carry totes are all about this season. For the Runway Spring 2022 collection, you had kind of love letters to New York. A lot of like classic places in New York. You had the Central Park version. You had the Zabar's version. There was the Pearl Paint, Eagle NYC, which I got, which was incredibly, incredibly lucky on my part. And then you also had the plain versions in this size, the 32. You had the orange and the blue, which were done in the same glove tan leather. And then the green pebbled leather that's like about responsibility and the soil. And it's a lot to get into. So I'm gonna link all the different bags that are still on the website down below so you can kind of read what they're all about, order your own. Probably can't get this one anymore, but it is what it is. There's also the Trompe l'oeil version, which comes in three different sizes, the 20 centimeter, the 22 centimeter, the 32 centimeter. And they're done in like a Trompe l'oeil style with like the belts across the front and they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I don't think they've been released just yet because the website just says coming soon or maybe they're sold out, who knows? It is what it is. So with this bag, as you can see, I have the mini version behind me, which I've already done a review on. So if you haven't caught that yet, link will be down in the description for you as well, because even though they're both kind of the same bag, they're both very different because they're obviously different sizes. I mean, hello. Anyway, you guys, this bag is everything. So when it first hit the runway and I saw it online, I immediately started furiously like Googling like Eagle NYC coach tote, cash and tote. When's it coming? Like what's the, the release date? Because I knew it would be a hot commodity and it would be super hard to get my hands on. So with my research, a an article on The Advocate, I think came up and they interviewed one of the higher ups at coach and they said, unfortunately, we're not going to release the Eagle tote because it's probably a little risque for a typical, you know, brand to kind of release something like this. And, uh, but we're gonna do the Zay bars and the pearl paint. Like, of course they are. Like, leave the gaze out, like always. You know, give us some rainbow stuff in June, I guess. That'll make it better. Anyway, so I, I thought, you know, for sure this bag's not gonna hit the market. I was, I was still holding out hope though. Like, eventually maybe the sample from the runway would show up on eBay. So I set up my eBay alerts. That way I was notified whenever a Coach Eagle cash and bag came up on there. I was furiously checking the website every single day, multiple times a day. I had it up on my desktop. You know, I had a tab open, refresh, refresh, refresh. I signed up to be a coach insider. So that way I would, you know, be notified when the runway 2022 collection for spring was released online. And eventually they released the, the cash and carry sling bag. And I got the email like, oh, you know, coming soon for coach insiders, you'll have first access. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're releasing the whole collection. No, it was literally just the sling bag and like the six different colors and it immediately sold out, which I mean, I mean, if one of you got it, amazing. I just wanna know how you plan to carry it because that bag looks a little awkward, not gonna lie. Fast forward a few months after a lot of phone calls, searching, I have the bag. I am so excited. Like I said, if you haven't watched the unboxing, the whole story is on that video, so go and watch it. But it is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. So this is classic coach to a T minus the half naked man. Um, so this is called the Cash and Carry. Why you ask? Why is it called the Cash and Carry? Well, this was an original design from Bonnie Cashin. When coach opened in 1941, they were more of like a baseball glove, kind of tannery situation. They weren't really into handbags just yet until the 60s. So I, they decided in the 60s to kind of pivot. There'd be more of a market for women's handbags. Enter Bonnie Cashin. She was their first lead designer. And a lot of the coach hallmarks that we see today, aside from just this entire tote in general, things like the dog leash clip, that was a Bonnie Cashin thing. The turn lock that coach is synonymously known for, that was on Bonnie Cashin's convertible. So a lot of like the different interesting inspirations that she found in her daily life as a New Yorker found their ways into 
to her designs. Now the cash and carry tote, this was originally just designed after shopping bags. So back then she was eyeing all these ladies going to the office and carrying their shoes in a shopping bag. And she said, ladies, we can do better. And she did. So introducing the cash and carry tote. So that's why you have the simple handles, which we'll get to in a minute. Yes, they can hurt your fingers. And just the overall boxy design, because it's literally designed to be a shopping bag. Thank you, Bonnie. You are a genius. Now with this bag, like I said, it's absolutely gorgeous. It does come with a shoulder strap or a crossbody strap, which can come in handy. We'll get to that here in a minute in my review. The bottom itself does have the four feet all in brass stamped with coach, original glove tan hardware stamped on the bottom. Now the front of mine, as, as you can tell, obviously, I got the Eagle NYC version. The Eagle Nest was a gay men's bar, a leather bar, kind of a fetish bar. Originally it opened up as like a kitchen. And then after Stonewall in 69, the Stonewall riots, they opened as the gay bar, the, the men's leather fetish bar, and then ended up closing in 2000, reopened in 2001 in a different location, and now it's called Eagle NYC. And they still kind of stick to the same theme, you know, wear your harness to get in, stuff like that. Anyway, if you know, you know. I covered a lot of that in the original video. And this artwork on the front, this is from an original like clipping and like a circular or newsletter or something like that. It was original print ad. Of course, it was the Eagle Nest back then. This, this is what it's called now. They were open every day from 10 p.m. until 4 a.m., even on holidays. Now, the sides of this bag are plain, as is the back, and the interior holds a lot. You can get an entire MacBook Pro 13-inch in this bag. Now, can you have it in like it's, um, like it's, you know, protective case? Not really, it doesn't fit. If you don't use a case, which you should, because you're gonna scratch your finish, but without one, you can get in this bag. So this bag is actually a good size. So it's 32 centimeters at the bottom, hence cash and carry 32. So the overall dimensions in inches, as we use here in America, you have 12 and three quarters across the bottom, 11 and a quarter inches high, and about five and a quarter inches in depth. Now with the strap handle drop, I think it's about six inches. And then of course with the crossbody strap, you can wear it on the shoulder, crossbody, and it hits at a nice location. Now the website does claim that it comes with a webbed crossbody strap, not the case. It actually comes with a gorgeous leather strap with really chunky brass hardware on there. Of course, the dog leash clip, which is amazing. I absolutely love the strap. Normally I'm not a strap kind of person, but I do like having that versatility, especially since these handles are so thin. So I noticed this week, I, I mostly just carried this to work. And then I think once grocery shopping, I didn't really carry it for a full days of shopping or going to the museums and things like that. But I can definitely tell that with these thin little handles that could get annoying very quick if you're carrying it on a full day out. So I do recommend just maybe having your strap here on the inside. Now, if you're just running to and from the office, you know, running quick errands, it's it's really not that bad. And it's a nice strap drop length. You can easily get this into the crook of your arm if you needed to. Super versatile, super easy to carry. And I love how structured it is. For someone, if, if you're new to my channel, I'm very obsessed with Balenciaga. I have a large Balenciaga collection, which you can see on Sunday's video. We're showcasing all 43 of my luxury designer handbags. It's also going to be celebrating my first year here on YouTube because I think, what is it, next Monday, the 27th, is my one year anniversary of being on YouTube and all the craziness that goes with it. So we're going to be, like I said, showcasing 43 of the designer handbags. We're not doing like my coach or Longchamp collection or Louis Vuitton luggage. If we did, then it would be closer to 60, which is way too long. Even if you only devote one minute to each bag, it will literally be an Hour. I wouldn't do that to you guys, but it's still gonna be a long video. Come prepared with your snacks, your coffee, whatever you need to get through a long video. It's gonna be fun though, I promise. Okay, so before I ramble anymore, let's go ahead and take an up close shot and see what fits inside. All right guys, so here is the Coach Cash and Carry 32 up close and personal. I absolutely love it, you guys. I have not been this excited about a coach bag in a very long time. This one just speaks to me. It is absolutely amazing. So from the outside, you just have a simple coach hang tag with the lozenge on both sides. Now the interior, it's very spacious. So it's just kind of like in a fabric lining. You have the zippered pocket back in the back with that classic coach zipper pull with the chain and then the front pocket it's just closed with this button closure. Now I did notice on the one that they sent me, I'll get a close up for you guys, that's damaged. Um, I, didn't, I don't know if they like didn't center it right or it's cut, but it is damaged. This bag was so hard to get though and I know I couldn't exchange it for another one, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh, I'll just live with it. The interior, like I said, is very spacious. So let's take a look and see what all's gonna fit. So with this bag, I'm going to be carrying, of course, my Louis Vuitton Posh Toilette 15. This has my blotting papers, my vaccine card, my Chanel 
lip balm. Everything I need for the day is tucked in here. So we'll start out with that. Now in this old Balenciaga portemonnaie, we have my Bose headphones. This has come in so handy from keeping them and getting tangled up on everything, which is amazing. I love having it. So we'll slide that in. We have my vintage Coach Signature wallet. I mean, Coach and Coach, it just makes sense, right? So let's tuck that in. My gum, which I am running dangerously low on, so when I'm at Target tonight, I'll need to pick more up. Don't let me forget Zane. We have my Chanel sunglasses. Well, my Versace sunglasses in a Chanel case because we like chaos. The tester phone on this channel, the old 6 Plus with the Gucci Blooms case, just for size reference, fits right in there. And last but not least, the Prada 6 key holder. So everything in here fits really nicely. There's still room to throw the strap inside. Like I said, the handles can get a little heavy from time to time. And then with the closure, it's just like a magnet tab. It is a little heavy. I mean, it is a full leather bag and it's a pretty good size. So once everything's in there, it does kind of weigh you down a little bit. It's not exactly like the mini size that I have. Back there in the background, <laughs> there it is. That one's so small, it's like literally perfect. So I love that bag. I love this one too. Like I said, he's a little heavy. He's a big boy. Now this bag, like I said, does come with the strap and it does have four, oh, excuse me. Don't know how to count five adjustments. So you have five eyelet holes there, thick brass hardware, and it literally is so easy. It just connects right to the D-rings up here at the top. And honestly, like I said, I'm not like the biggest strap kind of person, but this bag just looks cool with a strap. Maybe it's part of that whole like bondage leather scene. Like it's just a cool look. All right, and that is up close and what fits. What do you guys think? All right, everyone. So that is my newest coach bag, the Cash and Carry 32 with the hunky, Eagle NYC decal on the front, and I absolutely love this bag. Like I said in my unboxing video, this is literally the hardest I ever had to work to buy a bag. A lot of ups and downs. It was an emotional roller coaster. It was a very long two week experience, but I cannot believe that I finally have it in my collection. This was a runway item. They did show it in a smaller size. I wanna say probably the 20 centimeter, which I also wouldn't hate having, um, just cause this one's so big, but it's mine and I absolutely love it. Will you be able to get it as well? Maybe not, but if you're interested in the 32 size in general, this is kind of just like a, this was like a general overview review of that size. And like I said, I know they have the blue and the orange still and the gloved tan leather. They have the green pebbled leather from like the responsible leather. I need to read up more on that. And then of course the Trempe Loy versions are coming out soon, which are absolutely gorgeous and perfect for spring. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget next Sunday, we have that big designer bag Bag collection, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, let me know down in the comments, if you were able to get one of the runway bags, which one did you get? Did you get the Eagle? Did you get Zabars? Did you get Pearl Paint, Central Park? What did you get? I'd love to know. Or if you didn't, if you happen to miss out, like I thought I was going to, which one were you hoping to get? Let me know in the comments. We have a fun time down there and it's just a lot of, it's a safe space, safe space. All right, you guys, like I was saying, thank you so much for joining us this week. Like I said, don't miss next Sunday, the bag, the, the designer bag collection, it's a big deal. And we're almost to my one year here on YouTube. That's amazing. How cool is that? Wow. Okay, guys, have a great week. I will see you all on Sunday. Until then, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you then. All right, guys, bye-bye.